morning guys. I said I would vlog today because I haven't vlogged in a very long time. I'm just gonna sit down here. I am in my beauty room currently <laughs> because I had every intentions of going to my course today, obviously, because it's Monday. And then I was getting ready and Jimmy shouted up to me and he was like, you're not going anywhere today. He goes to work at like eight in the morning. I couldn't even get a lift with him. And he was like, you're not going to your course today because you have a flat tire. And he was like, don't be worrying about it. I'll get it sorted for you. I'm now in the mind frame of sitting down and cleaning up my beauty room, which I will show you in a moment. I'm probably mascara all over my eye as well. Yesterday was Sunday, naturally, and I uploaded, I, I don't know, I very rarely upload on a Sunday, obviously because I was doing drugstore week. I loved doing drugstore week. It was the best week ever. It was intensely stressful. I don't know how people upload every day because they really, really are to be admired. Like they do so much work. That's unbelievable and I really admire them. It's definitely something I have thought about like uploading more regular videos, but you know, I, I could never do every day. Like I seriously couldn't. That's why I don't get like how people do daily vlogs because you have to upload every day. Like you can't edit a bunch of videos all at once, if you get me. Like, editing beauty videos, I can pre-fill them, but you can't pre-fill them vlogs, like if they're daily vlogs, you know what I mean? I'm gonna currently show you what I am looking at because it is just a fright. Are you ready for this? I don't know if you are. This is from Drugstore Week. Yep, this is a week of filming and no time to clean up anything. Can we just take a look at the mess? And actually, I did a favorites too. Like, it's just manky. That's what I'm dealing with this morning. I'm gonna go make myself a coffee first because I really think I need a coffee before I tackle any of this. It's just a disaster. My little baby sleeping in his box. Have I disturbed you, Harley? Oh, you're getting up, are you? You actually don't realize how much you need your car until you're down to your last coffee. This is the one I drink. They are the Tassimo, that's the machine I have. And I drink the Latte Mochiato Caramel, and it just comes with an espresso. I'll show you exactly how I make them. A lot of feeling like I'm gonna need a big mug this morning <laughs> because it's just been one of those mornings. So just pop your coffee in and start off the machine. This is one of the noisiest machines ever. Can you hear how noisy that is? It sounds like it's broke. It honestly isn't. We have lift off. Yes. Come to me coffee. Come to me coffee. Once the coffee's made, then you put like the milk portion in. It's kind of like sweet milk, obviously, because it's a macchiato. But I, I love the combo. And you can buy them in deals now, I see, for like four euro or something. For like a pack of six, I think. Wow, I have so much to say about coffee this morning. I brought up all the packages that were in the hall downstairs that I need to put away. I got some new products in here I want to show you. Some that I bought and some that were sent to me. And then I got some Urban Decay bits and pieces. And then the new Hula stuff. This is actually the new Hula Light and the Dandelion highlighter. So I'll show you them once I put everything away because this room is just too overbearing. <laughs> I thought I'd show you these bits and bobs before I actually put them away. This is the Hula products that were sent to me. So the new Dandelion Twinkle Hula original. And then this, what is this called? The Hula Ooh, Contour Stick. And then Hula Light. Hula Light is excellent for those of you with paler skin who maybe wanted to try Hula and it might be just a bit too deep for you. This is not going to suit me at all. It would nearly be a setting powder on my skin, but... I might give this away to my sister. I think she might benefit from it, maybe a little bit more. Benefit? Haha, <laughs> get it? So that's what they look like. That's Benefit Light. Uh, or sorry, that's Hula Light, regular Hula. And then the Twinkle, Dandelion Twinkle. And then this is the Hula Quickie Contour Stick, which I'm excited to try this. And that's the Dandelion what's it called, twinkle highlight. It's really pretty actually, I quite like that. I can't wait to try that on my skin. 
Now I showed the products I got from my Urban Decay adventure on Snapchat, but some of you obviously don't follow me on Snapchat, so I'll go through what I actually got here. Now I have worn a couple of the bits and pieces, but I'll show you them anyway. I just put them back in their packaging, put them back in the box. Oh. I got two setting sprays, which I'm kind of excited about. The first one is actually a priming spray, so not technically a setting spray, and it is the B6 Vitamin Infused one, and then we got the All Nighter. I already have the All Nighter. This is in really old packaging and I love it. They're both from a company called Scandinavia. You can see that at the top and they're just repackaged by Urban Decay but they're both, well, I don't know what this one's like but this is amazing, really recommend it. I got one of their glitter liners and I'm so impressed with this. Now, I already have the Midnight Cowboy, I think it's called and this one is called, if it will focus, it's called Amp. I don't know, won't focus there, but Amp is the blue glitter. This is the gold glitter that I have, and yeah, it's called Midnight Cowboy. It is amazing, I love it. So I'm so happy that I got this in the goodie bag. Wait, let me see this, I wore this already. Isn't it a gorgeous color? I went out to meet my friend for dinner the other night and I wore it and it was gorgeous and I put like a blue eyeshadow down and put this on top of it. Oh my God, it was amazing. Then I give you a swatch of both of them. I don't know if you can see them there, but they are so pretty. So I really recommend them. I'm not like mad into the eyeshadows from Urban Decay, but I do think that their glitter liners are amazing and you should definitely check them out. The other thing they gave me was the after glow now i've worn this as well this is their highlight now this is in the shade sin look at the dirt of it already <laughs> it's in the shade sin and somebody told me this is exactly the same as the eyeshadow so i'm going to test that now very hard to see but this sin is definitely more of like a champagne shade whereas this kind of has like a pinky hue off it but i will like put them on the back of my hand and we'll see. So I don't know if you can see that there. The top one is the highlight, the bottom one is the eyeshadow. They're very different. They're not the same at all. They're not identical in any way, shape or form. The top one has like a yellow gold hue off it. Like I already said, like kind of like a champagne shade. And then the bottom one is definitely more of a pink. But that would be a really nice highlight as well. Why don't they bring that out as a highlight? But I suppose you can use the eyeshadow if you have a naked palette. I'm just not keen on the naked shadows. I just think they're not great. I got Perversion Mascara, which I've tried before and didn't like. I know an awful lot of my followers said, give it another shot. Then I got a primer potion. I already have tons of them, so I'm going to give that to Ollie. And then we got this lipstick. I'm not keen on the shade. It's called Big Bang, but I have another collect. I have another collection. I have another few of these lipsticks in my collection, so I'm going to change the lid onto one of the other lipsticks and I'll show you why if I can get this open with one finger. Ugh. We got to get our names engraved. Oh my god, it's impossible to see that. Focus, please. There, I don't know if you can see that. It says Dramatic Mac. It's really hard to see, but it, I don't know if you can see Dramatic Mac written there. Really cute. I was really happy to get that. That is what the shade looks like. It's not up my alley in any way, shape or form, but it might be nice as a lip topper or something, maybe for a festival or... Who knows, but it's nice to get a free lipstick. I'm very appreciative of all the things that I got. Bag is way too cute to try out, so I'm gonna leave it in my background. I don't know, maybe there's a bit too much going on in my background, but I just thought it was way too cute. We'll keep it there. A ton of PR in this that I got sent. Some of it is from the Balm. So I'll show you that, because I never actually show that on Snap. So the Balm have brought out a new foundation. They're on a roll this year, because they've brought out so many new things. This is called Even Steven Whipped Foundation. <laughs> Comes in eight shades. And this one looks super dark, because I have the mid-medium shade, which is the darkest shade that I actually own, which is this one here. And I'll show you how dark it is. It is quite a dark foundation like you can see in comparison to my hand I'll probably be the medium shade so I think after dark might be suitable for those of you with deep skins and then it comes in lighter than light so I think there's like a good range of foundation shades which is great because an awful lot of companies don't do a great foundation range just a little bit more information about the foundation just if you're wondering and that's the release date so it's available Currently. These are the other things the BAM sent me out, the nude beach, and this is out in June as well, 36 euro. And then the scuba mascara, which is available now as well, and it's 19 euro. So do you want to have a look at this? I think you do. I've never been that keen on the nude palettes before from the BAM, but this one looks really nice, especially that shade Brave and Buff. That looks amazing. And then they've got a couple of like 
goldy coppery shades in here so them two there are lovely and then this really warm brown I love this I'm really keen to try this out and see what it's like I'm actually so excited about the wand on the scuba mascara look how little it is and it'll get right into the lashes I think very keen to try that out and it comes like a square bottle it's really cool right, I am planning on doing an LA girl one brand tutorial so I got a couple of bits and pieces from LA Girl well I actually bought them on Beauty Bay I'll link down to Beauty Bay below because that is the best place ever to get like some American brands which you can't get here in Ireland I bought this on I think Amazon I believe and this is the Airspun Loose Powder from Coty so many people rave about this online and I've never tried it so I'm dying to have a go I've heard it does have a scent <gasps> which I'm kind of scary, scary about. I'm kind of wary about. And you can see it in comparison to my Laura Mercier, just the size of it. There is so much product in this. I think there's something like 56 grams or well, 65 grams. Wow, amazing. And in this one, you just get 29 or an ounce. Unreal, like so much, 2.3 ounces. That's crazy. And as you guys know, I went to a Wet n Wild event and I got these little goodies. Thank you so much, Wet n Wild. The Lash Renegade, I've raved about this a lot lately. Amazing. And I got this new bronzer from them, Ticket to Brazil. Their new cat suit liquid lipsticks, another lipstick. And they're now doing some brushes. I'm sure they've been available in the US for a long time, but they're only here. And then also the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I got a bit of information in regards to the entire collection. And I can now do a video on it, thank God, because it's available in Ireland. So there's all the information, prices, everything like that. If you are in Ireland, you can buy Wet n Wild in, I think, most pennies. I get my Wet n Wild in Mary Street pennies and you can also buy it in D Okay, so I have just edited a video for my vlog channel. I actually did my lip filler q and I know I'm after picking a spot here and I shouldn't have done that either. But anyway, I know an awful lot of you guys have been asking just kind of can I update you on my lip fillers and talk a little bit more about them. It's been well over a year and a bit since I did my vlog on the whole thing. So I definitely needed to update you guys a little bit more. So I did a Q&A, kind of like commonly asked questions. And if you guys have more questions, I'll do a second part or whatever. Because I kind of want to give all you information in regards to it if it's something that interests you and I know I get an awful lot of questions as well about my Invisalign which I don't have in at all today I'm being very bold because I'm like drinking tea and coffee today so it's kind of like just sitting beside me and you can't obviously drink that when you have Invisalign in but I have a dental appointment on Wednesday to get my last few trays on the bottom and I'm going to ask them to take another kind of like imp impression of my top teeth because I still have kind of a little bit of gapping going on. I'll talk a little bit more about that again in a separate video that I will put up on my vlog channel. I haven't been really doing a whole lot since I last spoke to you, basically editing and stuff like that and I need to do a face mask. My skin looks like crap. I think from when I was sick a couple of weeks ago, like my eating just went out the window like I was eating terribly bad and I'm just after finishing the time of the month so I get spots and everything when that happens. Ugh. I was having a little bit of a rant on Snapchat. I hate doing that. I hate ranting. Like, it just makes me feel, like, so bummed out. But I was just explaining to you guys on Snapchat that I'm no longer going to have my Snapchat on public, which means that you can see my snaps, but you won't be able to write to me. And I know an awful lot of you guys are a bit upset over that, but I have Twitter for that reason that you guys can contact me whenever you need to. And, you know, I'll have my you know other social media instagram and i'll have my commenting section on youtube and whatever but it's just i found it a bit too much like out of all of my social media networks that is definitely one of the ones that is the toughest one for me to actually i don't know control the comments i suppose i don't really want to control what people say but i find that i get the most hate we'll say on snapchat and i just feel like it's really impacting me negatively and making me feel real moody and i could feel real happy in a day and then i go on to snapchat and it makes me want to cry and be upset and, and almost make me feel a bit panicky and I don't want to feel like that online, I really don't. Like I love what I do and you know I want to feel happy and I know you're not going to feel happy all the time, you're not going to please everyone but I feel like the malicious, the vile, disgusting comments that I've been receiving on Snapchat are so unnecessary so I've made that decision 
conscious decision that people can only contact me on my other forms of social media and not on snapchat anymore which i don't really mind because i don't use it that often for that reason i might use it more now because i don't feel like i have to respond to everybody and then when i can't respond to them i get abused like abused like people would say the nastiest most horrible things to me because i couldn't respond to them and i felt really guilty and i don't know and then i w was getting these vile things like comments sent in and showing my friends and they're like ashing like that's not on and you know, no wonder you've, you're a little bit down because you're reading comments like that. So I've just eliminated that aspect of my life and I feel so much better for it. And uh, yeah, so I'm just exporting my Q&A on the lip fillers now. I'd say that'll probably go up before this vlog. And uh, what else have I to do today? I think I might edit the Invisalign one as well. It's from November. Yeah, ages ago. It was when I did my like six month update on my Invisalign but it needs to go up because anybody who's interested in getting Invisalign it will help you and then I will do my final update as well and yeah I think that's it so I'll check in with you guys in a little while because I'm going to continue to edit and that's not very interesting for you to see. I look so beyond cute right now. <laughs> I'm just uh, finishing my video on my upload. I'm currently starting to edit my Invisalign video and I'm gonna go for a shower. So I said I put a face mask on while I was waiting. This one's from Penny's. So my one year update on my lip fillers is live now and I'm currently just editing my Invisalign six month update just to let you guys know how I'm getting on and stuff with it. It's actually not really that long of a video but there's not too much information to kind of let you guys know but I just thought it might be interesting for you. Oh, uh, so I'm just lying in bed, in bed, on bed on the bed i have just finished watching big brother and love island both were a little bit boring tonight there was an eviction on love island tonight or like a booting off the island that was about the height of it now in fairness and big brother is very dull because they're all loving each other again even though they were killing each other last night i'm gonna stay home tomorrow as well because I have an awful lot of work to do. I kind of have a couple of videos to edit and I have to kind of get back on track now after drugstore week and start editing again for a couple of videos for the week. I'm going to finally have a shower, finally, this evening and wash my hair. I'm using these new Joy Co shampoo and conditioner. I really like them. They're really nice on my hair. And I want to get full size of them. They're in like samples. And uh, I don't know where you can buy Joy Co. I think you might be able to get it on Look Fantastic or Feel Unique or one of those websites. So I must... Uh, I must buy full size bottles of it because it's really really good. It's a horrible evening this evening as well. It was raining all evening. I had to make myself a hot water bottle because it was cold. I haven't been cold in weeks. I guess that's the thing with Irish weather. Alright, I'm going to go have my shower and go to bed and go to sleep. Okay guys, I will talk to you tomorrow. I don't know if I'm going to make this into one vlog or two vlog. I haven't decided. Two vlog? Two vlogs. I haven't decided yet. We'll see. Okay, so I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Mwah. Bye.